Howdy Howlers, it's Sako to me, also known as Cass Foy, and today is day 15 of Vlogmas. Let's see what our advent calendar has for us today. Today's the 15th. Please don't be another egg. This is the one. If it's another egg, I might cry. I'm gonna cry. Yep, sure as shit. You know what? $40 worth of dinosaurs. $40 worth of dinosaurs. Yep, I have a collection. I might do a giveaway or something because I have too many dinosaurs. I'm starting to think that maybe I should get a refund for this advent calendar. It is subpar. For the next couple of days, I shall discuss on how to be a game master. And for those that are already game masters, storytellers, dungeon masters, whatever, this series shall be how to be a better GM. Today, I'm going to get into story management. Now, this should make sense for the authors of novels, but there should be three tiers to your chronicle. Maybe more, but this is a skeleton. That's the top tier, which is the main plot. Voldemort is trying to resurrect. Darth Sidious is trying to take over the galaxy. All the antediluvians are starting to wake up. The middle tier is the immediate goal of the PC. So go rescue the girl, go fight the monster, go get the special treasure. You usually have a bunch of these strung together to act as stepping stones towards your main plot. Then the bottom tier is your baby subplots, your romances, little intrigues, little bits of flavor that can help the plot, but don't necessarily have to. This three-tier structure will help a great deal in both having a solid storyline as well as being extremely flexible. I work on a very loose outline. First, I figure out what the final confrontation be. Think big, like Augustus Giovanni wanting to use the judgment ritual as a weapon against other vampires. Then I come up with a handful of smaller plots that serve as ways for the players to eventually make it to that confrontation. Not all of these plots are used, and if they are, they may not be in order like I originally intended on them being. The idea is that you create little threads that lead to these plots and whichever thread the players decide to take, that's the one you run with. Give them the choice of saving the victim or fighting the monster or getting the treasure. If you liked this video at any point, please hit the like button and if you would like to see the rest of Vlogmas, then I suggest that you subscribe and maybe even ring that bell on the off chance that no YouTube notifies you when I upload a video. And I will catch you guys on the flip side.